Okay, people. All right. So we're coming up on the, the infamous, the infamous, the famous weight station of St. George, Utah. Basically what we gonna see, we gonna see if I get pulled in to St. George, Utah. I ain't been up here in about a week and a half. Utah is thankful for safe drivers. Well, I am a safe driver. All right, we got the lights, right? The lights saying that it's open. All right. Let's go ahead and turn the windshield wipers down. We're gonna start downshifting. 20 miles an hour, 45, bagging it down. 40, bagging it down. 25, bagging it down. And yeah, I did just shift that with the jake brake on, people. And we are at 19 miles an hour and dropping. All right. Hey y'all experienced this with me. If you think they're gonna pull me in, leave it in the comments real quick. If you think they're gonna let me go, leave it in the comments. Go ahead and post it now before we get to it. Yeah know. Alright, we down about 16 miles an hour. I'm gonna downshift one more time. Bang. We down to 15 miles an hour. The green arrow is stuck on pull in. I've never seen, I think I've seen trucks bypass one time. I'm noticing two people over there look like they're going to take paperwork in. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to slow it down just enough to where that person would get in. And when they get in, Hopefully the, the people on the scale is distracted. <laughs> They're distracted enough. So I'm coming down, I'm doing about 11 miles an hour and decelerating. Downshift one more time. Bang. Y'all see the blinking? As long as, long as y'all see the blinking, now this dude taking his time, now I need you to hurry up. It just let a whole bunch of trucks pass. Oh, he gonna take the ramp. Come on, man, you moving so slow. I'm down to eight miles an hour. They got three trucks pulled in. All right, let's see what we get, people. Let's see what we get. There the little thing is to take a picture of my license plate. Bang, they just took a picture of my license plate. I'm doing seven miles an hour. Do, do, do. Trailers over the scale. Looking up at the sign. Hopefully they distracted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Let's go ahead and get them gears back up. Yeah, baby. I didn't get pulled in. It's a rainy day out here, people, on the West Coast. It's raining in California, Southern California. It's raining in um, Nevada, Las Vegas. Rain in Arizona, rain in Utah. I need to check the weather, make sure we ain't getting no snow going. Turn that blinker on real quick. So we want to hurry up. We want to hurry up and get about that scale. You know what I'm saying? So for all the people that thought I was gonna get pulled in, there you go. I didn't get pulled in. I'm gonna turn the windshield wipers back up. I just changed that windshield wiper today. So it's all pretty. What's going on people, it's TRB. Thank you for uh, coming on through. Rocking with me, we're gonna go ahead and put this hammer down. I don't need no fuel, because I fuel that prim. Uh, so basically I'm taking a load from Ontario, California up to Salt Lake City. Load don't deliver till Tuesday, but because of the adverse weather conditions and the holiday season, or the holiday week, I went ahead and took, it, I went ahead and took this load early. So it's only about it's about a good 10 to 11 hour drive. Technically it's eight hour, but you gotta take into account that I'm 43 pounds of paper towels and tissue. 
So, you know, when I'm going up a hill, I'm slowing down about 30, 35. Now, what I just did is I went ahead and got over because those cars look like they was merging on. I am a little hungry, but I ain't gonna worry about it. I ain't gonna worry about it. I just got back in the truck. I ain't restocked the truck. I got some snacks, but I do not have food. You know? And uh, what I'm doing right now is glancing over at my passenger side mirror, making sure we ain't got no California, New York type drivers that's gonna ride the merge lane all the way to the end and jump in front of you. You know, they good for doing stuff like that out that way. Now I am noticing Steven Transport got his four ways on and Steven Transport has had his four ways on for a while. And I'm not sure why Steven Transport got their four ways on. But hopefully whatever it is, they can pull into uh, exit four over in St. George and get it taken care of. You know, and it's funny, Steven Transport got their four ways on, but they still doing the same speed that they would do if they didn't have their four ways on. <laughs> I'm gonna get that driver some four ways. Tell them that's my way of saying thank you, driver. And let them know that his doors will be up there in Salt Lake City, you know. Your doors will be in Salt Lake City, driver. Now, because it's raining, you don't, you don't want to be all hammer lane gang. You want to take everything with caution. Every turn with caution. You know? Any other time, I'll be hammer down. But because it's been, rain, it's been raining probably for a while. And the way I know it's kind of been raining for a while is because the dirt is a darker color shade that lets me know that it's been at least drizzling for a while you can also tell if it's been raining for a while by the the ravine so if you're going through the arizona arizona gorge or something like that you will you can look at the little rivers where it's normally dry it will be wet and it is wet because it's been raining for a while uh, if you look over to the right, you got, you know, standing puddles and stuff like that, which y'all can't see on the camera. But, uh, yeah, that's some of the ways you can tell. There's a river down there to the right that you can't see either. Driving this as much as I do, I can tell by the way that that river, the color of the river is muddy, but it lets me know there's been a lot of water coming down off the, uh, off the mountains and hills that they have over here you know when it's been raining a lot in the, in the desert areas you want to be careful because you know like all this asphalt might have you know old oil in it you know, different residues and stuff like that and um but we are heading up to salt lake city i just crossed over to utah I should be there today uh when i glanced at the weather yesterday they said that there might be some snow coming so uh, definitely want to take a look at that. Also, keep in mind if you are, if you know that snow is coming. What you can do, you know what? I ain't even gonna get hammer laid on that ass. I'm gonna let this driver go on by. This four wheel is doing less than 60 miles an hour. Um, what you can do, depending on where you're delivering. You can, um, especially if it's a dropping hook. If it's a dropping hook, you want to get get it there as safe and as quickly as possible, so you can drop it, get you an empty, and get up out of town before the snow kicks in. I'm delivering this load to a Costco. I think it's a Costco warehouse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go and see if I can deliver it early. The snow starts kicking in tonight and sometime tomorrow. So what I'm gonna try to do is if I can. I am going to, I'm going to uh, get up there, try to drive it as quick as possible. And depending on the amount of hours I have, I'm gonna try to get as far back south towards California as I can before my hours run out. Um, again, my trip planning methods are not the same. Not, it's not what normal people would do. My trip planning, I just drive until uh, I just drive until I get tired, 
And by the time I get tired, I'm usually hours early. You know, I don't try to, I don't never try to get anywhere on time. I try to get there early. So I usually drive until I get tired. Once I get tired, uh, I take a look at how, how much longer I have to get there. And usually I'm always early. It never, it's, it's rare when I get tired and I get up and I, I'm, I'm in a time crunch. You know? But, um, so like right now, I know there's no line to be there until Tuesday. It's probably, it's, it looks like it's still morning. Monday morning, you know, even if it was Monday afternoon, I'm still real early. You know, I probably got about 200 miles, 200, maybe 300 miles, I don't know. So, like, I'm planning on getting there in one shift. I think it's about 680 something miles. You guys can do the, you guys can put in the miles if you want. I went from Ontario, California to Salt Lake City, Utah see how many miles that is my truck does about 70 to 72 so um, you know that that makes up a little bit of time again you got to take into account that uh, I'm going up and down hills and mountains and different things like that so that will cut into my time I'm not sure why that truck pulling that trailer hit the brakes come on for will I see you but right now we're doing about 60 if you ever want to know what on guard is if you just heard that beeping sound that means uh, there was a vehicle in front of me that I was too close for the people who want to focus on the beeping up on guard and don't actually know how or actually have ever used on guard. If you saw the distance I had between me and that truck, it was about a half a truck or an 18 wheeler length of space. And on guard started beeping. On guard is a warning system to let you know that you're too close to another vehicle. And also, if you have it on cruise control, it will control your speed. So say for instance, I'm on cruise control I'm doing 70, a, a car in front of me is doing 65. It will record, it will beep that that car is in front of me. Okay, I see a murder sign up here, so we're gonna get back over. It will recognize that there's a vehicle in front of me and slow the truck down automatically. Now, with that said, there are times where it would just jam on the brakes, which I think to myself, like, if you're doing flatbed, at the time, and you got on guard, and it jams on the brake, and you know you got steel beams and stuff behind you. That's that's not a good deal because uh, them beams can come straight through that truck. You know, if you've been on Facebook long enough, and in some of them trucker groups long enough, you see how some truck drivers have died because they probably hit the brakes too hard, and the beams secure. Because usually, when they secure the beams, they secure them over. They don't secure them in front. But I'm not a flatbed guy, so I don't know all about all that. This is just what this is what I'm seeing on on the pictures. So, uh, but there is times that on guard would definitely jam on the brakes, and that means like people that's behind you will have to jam on the brakes, and you're not in control of that. So you, you have to understand when to turn on guard on on cruise control, and you got to learn when to take cruise control off, so on guard would not uh, do brake assist for you. But uh, I didn't get pulled in, people. I like that. I'm assuming they was too busy. You know, whatever it is, it don't matter to me. <laughs> <coughs> Damn. <coughs> I don't know if that was a hiccup or a burp. Uh. Whew. <coughs> that just happened. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, it's TRB. I thought y'all was gonna witness me getting pulled into the way station, but it didn't happen. <laughs> so it is what it is. So I hope everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm taking only one load this week. I'm gonna take this load up. 
the Salt Lake, turn around, come back down as quick and as safe as possible. And I'm gonna go home and fry me a turkey, people. <laughs> you know? And to the people that don't celebrate Thanksgiving because of the history behind it, don't worry about the history behind it. Don't even look at it as Thanksgiving. Look at it as a day for the family to get together, eat some good food and catch up. All right? All right, it's TRB. Ain't that beautiful? Look at it, look, 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 look at the different colorations over there. Look, 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 look at that. I don't even know what the phone gonna focus on it. Y'all take it easy. Peace.